Greetings, everyone, and welcome again to Handelaber Live After Dark. I should After make that. Dark. I should make like some sort of like disco ball going in the corner. It was the flying toasters before. I can like give it a color at least. Let's see. Give it a dark gray. After dark. Does that work? Oh, no. It doesn't do anything when yeah. I change. I set the color of the image and it doesn't do anything. That is not what I expect. <laughs> oh well. Yes, it is 10 a.m. for me. Uh, didn't necessarily have to go late for me today, but uh, Jeremy uh, was able to join if we went late, so here we are. Yeah, the issue is that because we do it at 7, that's like it doesn't make sense for me to come home because then I'd be doing this while we're putting the kids to bed. But if we can do it after the kids are already sleeping, or at least the two young ones are sleeping, then I can do it and it's no problem. So that's why if John was like, well, you know, if it lets him get an extra hour of shut eye and <laughs> I get to get home and get situated and get in my jammies, then everything is great. But next week, everything's going to change again because uh, this week I'm in Singapore. Um, but next week I will be in Athens and in Greece and Europe for a while, so the stream will start at 2 a.m. my time, which is not ideal. <laughs> we should probably think of something that I could do during the stream next week that maybe doesn't require you to be there at all. Like run the stream without me? Wait, is it next week or is it the week after? Next week. Isn't it next week? Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. That's true, oh yeah, we do, we, we do have a plan for that, don't we? Yeah, I was I was trying to lead into a little bit of a tease for people who are I'd in forgotten. the thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so next week we will be back at our regular time, and I'm going to need you all to listen carefully because we'll be there. Will be a lot of parts next week. <laughs> Sorry, I, I went in without a clear exit strategy. There's gonna be a listening party. <laughs> is what I was saying, uh, for the next batch of hero theme songs. Um, we will, be, there'll be a post to the Kickstarter probably tomorrow uh, to get everybody who's not here uh, the information that they need about coming to the listening party, but next for, and, and, we'll, and we'll, you know, which hero it's gonna be probably, maybe ahead of time, let me check with Jean-Marc. I don't know if he wants that to be known yet, but um, regular time next week, 7 p.m. Eastern, and we will be doing a listening party. Jeremy and Jean-Marc. And I will, I may, we'll see. <laughs> I, I might still be jet lagged. Well, because that I'll be like, we're All actually, right. we're actually leaving here um, Tuesday at 3 a.m. So then we arrive in Athens Tuesday at 9 a.m. After 12 hours. <laughs> but it's like when we flew back from Australia. Yeah. That's the crazy one. But the other direction. Yeah, the, with Australia, yeah, you have like a whole day skip thing. Yeah, like we, I think we left, it was something like we left on Sunday and we got back. I think you get back at like the same time, right? As you left. Yeah, yeah, essentially. <laughs> like, like we got back like two hours before we left or something like yeah. that. Yeah. weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, fun time. So then I'll be in European time, which will be a little, well, Eastern European time, but still not too bad. Uh, cool. So let's play some Sentinels, I suppose. Indeed. Um, we were thinking about doing something, um, playing like a self-imposed challenge game, uh, which we've done in the past. Things like, you know, only Urgent Adept can deal damage in this game or stuff like that. So if anyone in chat has any suggestions about what we might do for that, uh, let us know. Uh, I'm going to go in and get online multiplayer going and we can figure that out. Maybe I'll pick a new avatar. Guys, that's fun. All right, I have made a new game. It is Raw God of the Sun. And you have a guy's avatar as well. Hero memes. Do. That would be good too. Maybe that should be the background images this time, our hero memes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell Krista. Yeah, so I don't know. Let's see. I mean, we could go for one of like the crazy, um, not crazy, but one of the, the super difficult 
challenges for achievements. Like there's one where you have to win a game without playing cards. There's one where you have to win a game without dealing. Is it yep. without using powers maybe? Yeah, we could do one of those. Um, we want to do each one. So let's do the uh, no using powers. Sure. That's, that's definitely easier. Um, and usually so you want to play first. like Ambuscade or Baron Blade or someone when you're doing these things. Uh, in an environment that's not going to be the worst. Right. Like, you don't want to play in Megalopolis and then not be able to use powers. <laughs> Do it with just the base game. Sure, that's a good idea. All right, mm, so let's okay. go with uh, Mars Base. Oh, and he wants the base game. Okay, so Baron Blade then. That gives you a bit more pressure because there's a time limit. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. so we're, we're going to be doing it without powers, so... Okay, so no powers, all right. Yeah. So, Tempest is pretty good, cards, one-shots and things. Um, and maybe Haka. Base game only. Yeah, Wraith is definitely uh, not the best choice. Yeah. All right. So we're going to try to not use powers this game. Lou Dolphin did this all of the achievements with the base game just to make it more authentic. Did you do it on your stream, Lou Dolphin, or just offline? Tremble, fools. The moon grows closer with your every breath. Let's see if we can make this. I mean, these achievements were in the game before the before there was DLC, so uh, it was possible to do them. An idea for Dolphins Dive post challenge challenge: get all the achievements live in one stream. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a lot of static and pops. Is John's beard rubbing that a might mic? Be me. I'm on my Bluetooth headset, so. I can try. Here. I see my mic is clipping, so I'm gonna drop mine down a little bit. There, I'm out of the red now, so let me know if that's better. Uh, I don't think my beard is rubbing the mic. It is hovering. Uh, all right, Tachyon, choosing a card to play. Yeah, sorry. I was I was waiting for you to start reading the card, so I had it started. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, so Tachyon's <laughs> got Hypersonic hyper Assault, Lightspeed Barrage, and a couple Sucker Punches. Tempest, Ball Lightning, End of the Stratosphere, Lightning Slash, Localized Hurricane. Ra has Excavation, Fire Blast, Staff of Ra, Wrathful Gaze, and Haka has stuff, but you're just doing stuff, so I can't look at it yet. Draw some more cards. Uh, Haka's got Haka yeah, Restoration. Savage Mana, Teha, and Vitality Surge. It's possible to win without powers or card plays. That's true against Wager Master. But not in the base game, I don't think. Oh yeah, I just saw a huge pop on my audio thing, so I'm not sure that was from my mic, so I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, okay, so... We've got the mobile defense platform. I could into the stratosphere. He'll play it again next turn, but at least that gives us a turn to hit him while that's happening. Whale on him, yeah. Or we could just like blow it up with lightning slash. Might be best to just blow it up. What do you think? Um. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to filter this all through the. Oh yeah, but I can't use powers too. So um. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like into the stratosphere. Actually, into the stratosphere is going to be good to save for like. Oh, we did, we have ball lightning, so like I'm not worried about uh, backlash field or anything like that. So why don't we just pause him with this and hit him? Okay. As long as we like, I think we want to try to save as much damage, like to destroy it. So like, I'll hold on to my lightning slash, and you can hold on to your fire blast, maybe. Yeah. Um. Unless Tachyon got some more damage? No. Because we know it's going to come out, so 
I guess, I mean, if you want a Fire Blast, we might be able to get through it. We do need to kill Baron Blade, so we may as well just hit Baron Blade. Yeah, I'm just trying to think here, like, the staff, like, I can play the staff, I just can't use the staff if we're doing the no powers thing. Right. I guess it'll give you plus damage next time. Right. Yeah, that's I'm just fine. trying to think of where there would be a downside. I mean, I guess I could wait until I'm taking more damage, but it's fine. Uh, maybe okay. it's Kusunoki's side who's having trouble because other people sound fine. I'd say it sounds fine. All right, and Hakka doesn't really have much to do because of the restriction, so. I like Savage Mana because we can actually keep cards out of his trash. Mm. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that first and then hopefully get some damage one shots. The maintenance level. Well, there goes my staff. Hey, surprise, an MDP. Indeed. All right. Can't do much, but at least you can get a HUD goggles and play. Yeah. All right, so let's get rid of that now. No power. I guess you lost your staff anyway. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, I mean, we're trying to get the mobile defense out, right? Yep. Yeah, I ignored Blade Battalion, so. Hanka can't do a whole lot, so let's draw some cards. Heal. Uh, we probably want to get rid of this. And we're not, like, you yeah, don't have any like... bursts in your trash, right? So it doesn't super matter, so. Yep. And we could discard a card for this. That gives everyone equipment, which is nice. Yeah, you, you are, actually you don't have a HUD goggles in your trash anymore, do you? Oh wait, it didn't. No, I have one in play and one in my hand. Okay. Yeah, so this, I guess you may as well just discard a burst, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you want one of these sucker punches? I guess I can discard powers that I can't use. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hawk is gonna get a card in play. So why not? And I think it's straight in. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? Sometimes it do be that be like that, it's as just they dusty. say. Wow, Blade Battalion's going all out. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, I guess there's no reason not to put that into play. And then I can also do this. Hit all the things, and then obviously no, no power. Uh, 
All right, I don't kind of want to save my ball lightning, so I'm just gonna put up a defense card. All right, um. I think I'm just going to do that. As well. Yeah. Silver flare, and there's another staff. Okay. So I did start reading Snow Crash. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I think I'm like two or three chapters in. I have to say, like when I got to the moment where you learn the main character's name, like all of a sudden a big light bulb went off in my head. <laughs> like, okay, I have heard of this book, and I do know what is like going on here because I was like, I knew that as a meme that there was like a character named that, but like I didn't realize it was from this book. Right. And so I knew a little bit of context from that. So. <clears throat> All right, well, we may as well get rid of this because it's just going to keep blowing up our stuff. If you discard the staff, you can get into play. Oh, yeah, good call. No crash, Sparky Wolf. <clears throat> Oxygen leak. Uh, if you want, we could get rid of this, or we could leave it. It's going to do one damage to each target right now. Which yeah. is probably helping us right now. Yeah, something. Unless, well, it reduces fire damage, which is bad for Ra, so. But Ra's not dealing any fire damage right now, so maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll skip right now. And they just keep calling the buddies, huh? Wow. All right, well, I set Haka up for this already, <laughs> so. And maybe Tempest can take this one because he's got minus. All right. Not a bad time for Hypersonic, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm just checking here. Yeah, I've not been dealt target, dealt damage by targets yet, so yeah, this is the way to go. You can still you get to play two cards though, so you can hit blade with that other one. So it's interesting. So I'm playing in my basement right now, which means that I'm playing like I've got the chat and the stream on my laptop, and then I'm air playing it to my projector. Hmm. And it, the, the the mouse delay is just enough that it makes it super super frustrating. Hmm. You need a. I don't know if that gets better in the next Mac OS, but really long HDMI cable. Yeah. Like it's not like a second, you know. It's not like so bad that whatever but it's like this tiny imperceptible where like if it was the screen right in front of me it would be instantaneous right Ugh, it's frustrating because <laughs> like i'm overshooting targets because like i'm going by where it should stop based on my movement all right so what do we got here yeah, I feel like this flame barrier could be good 
It won't yeah. do anything because of the oxygen leak, but we can get rid of the oxygen leak on the environment turn if we want. And then I can't do power, so. Hoping for a rampage here with Haka, but I haven't got one yet. Collect all of the villain targets. Yeah, this is only hitting Tachyon and Ra now. Right, so do you want to... Did you pick up any damage for Ra? No, so we could just leave this still out. Yeah, I was going to say, if we leave this, it's going to negate the blogosphere. Yeah, exactly. The blogosphere. <laughs> negate yeah. the blogosphere. <laughs> I like that. Fire in the blogosphere. Oh, here, I'll take a picture and uh, post it to Twitter of my current setup so everybody can see what I'm talking about. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta start using more keyboard shortcuts because it's just <laughs> I keep <laughs> overshooting the button that I'm trying to hit. Devious disruption. All right, we can just probably destroy most of our stuff here for this or it'll be... Actually, he's hypersonic assaulted, isn't he? Yeah, skip. He is, yeah. <laughs> Good timing for that. I have a ground pound as well. Looks like a skip, skip turn. Yeah, there's only four bursts in the trash, so. Finding speed and another light speed barrage. Hey, electrical storm. That's going to do reliable damage. Sorry, I'm trying to take a picture and tweet a picture all while I'm trying to do this, so. <laughs> um, I guess I could, I mean, I might as well put out one of these Flesh of the Sun Gods. Sure. Can't hurt. You could put all of them back. <laughs> They're not limited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> hey, Scorched Earth. Once we get rid of the Oxygen Lake, that's going to be strong. This is happening. Want to click choose for me? Oh, sorry. Uh, we want to get rid of this. It's not doing anything if we leave the oxygen leak around, but it does let Haka draw card so that's nice um uh yeah i'm fine i don't we don't have a lot of cards though so maybe i guess Ra could discard like his flesh of the sun gods that he doesn't need mm. or we could just skip uh, uh yeah i'm fine with either way all right let's just skip meteor storm We are probably want to get rid of that because we can't hit Baron Blade with it. I guess you can use Blinding Speed to get rid of it. Oh, shoot. Haste and Doom. Nope. What? Why? Sorry, my Mac just locked up on me. Oh. And by locked up, I mean literally like went to sleep locked up. <laughs> like not like froze. I don't know why I was like moving the mouse around. All right. All right. Uh, Probably want to discard the HUD goggles. Yep. Uh, Tempest, oof. 
I don't really want, I want to keep that ball lightning, so, but I also want to draw three cards. Well, he's not going to play an ongoing card this turn, so. Okay, Brian Wolf Hunt, ideally, I just posted a picture of me playing Sentinels. I don't know if it worked or not, mm -hmm. so. Uh, let's see. Yes, my tweet, it says, big screen Sentinels game, and then it links to my Instagram, the Instagram that I posted. So there you go. All right. Oof. That's a lot of discards. Um. Yeah, I'm probably fine to do this if we want to get rid of this right away. Yeah, or you could play Blinding Speed to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. And then I'll still get to... Yeah, that's fine. Then you still get to draw another card. Right. Ooh, Rampage. Perfect. Where am I at? Five now? Yeah, I'm going to use one of these just to hit Baron Blade. Sure. We're halfway to the 15, so... Definitely a little slower game when you can't use powers. <laughs> yes. Oh, unfortunately my Rampage is not going to get those guys and they're going in the trash. That sucks. Ooh, Gene Bound Shackles is good. Another End of the Stratosphere is good. Ooh, Chain Lightning. Nice Tempest pulling through here. All right. Environment, there's two environment cards in play, but it's fire damage. Yeah, we can get rid of that Oxygen Leak this turn if you want to, like, go Solar Flare now to be ready for Scorched Earth next time. But you, there might not be any cards in the environment after this, so... Yeah. I don't know. Might just skip, skip, just to get more options. Yeah, I think I am. I think we'll clear those environment cards this turn, probably. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Inferno could be good. All right, Rampage. Or I guess, guess yeah, I want to hit Baron Blade too, so it's Rampage. I do want to put Blade Battalion beneath Savage Mana. Ha, huh, Ra tries to flame barrier, but there's no oxygen. All right, we should probably get rid of this. Um, yeah. I think Ra can. Yeah, Ra has some it. discard fodder. Yeah, because like I can't actually get rid of my my staff on my own, so having a backup right isn't doesn't really matter. So that's one, and then I've already got a flesh of the sun god in play, so I guess I'll get rid of that one as well. All right, Hawkeye can probably discard for this. Yeah, gonna get to draw for it anyway, so. Elemental Redistributor. All right. I almost never worry about this on the first round. Yeah, it's fine. So, okay, cool. So, no. Uh, I will push the limit so that I can at least draw an extra card. I'm still only at five, right? Yeah, I think I'm just... Yeah, wait, if I don't... Yeah, it's going to be two draws either way, and then I get to keep pushing the limits out, so that's fine. 
All right, Sonic Vortex, quick insight. Cool. That'll help a bit. Time to get your ground pound in. Oh, this is going to redirect one of us. <laughs> because of the redistributor. Uh, yeah. I don't want to skip my turn. Uh, I could put that redistributor back on top of the deck. Uh, we might be able to, yeah, because I can't hit him with any of my damage, or Rock can't hit him either, right? So we need to get rid of that card. <laughs> yeah. Could put a Blade Battalion on top. I don't know if the right now is the right time for Grand Pound Loot Dolphin. Why do you say that? Uh, Scorched Earth is pretty strong, actually, because it counts the cards underneath the pile. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Yeah, I still can't... Yeah, I mean, what am I going to do the most damage? Because, yeah, Inferno is going to only hit him, and then this is only going to hit him as well. So it's about... Same. That's like, yeah, Scorched Earth is fine. And no powers. Oh, right. Self-destruct sequence makes it a permanent ground pound because Haka can always skip his turn before ground pound expires. Oh, interesting. Which is cheesy. It's a cheesy loophole. You want to do the cheesy loophole or go without it? Um... Explain it all the way through. But, okay, here are the choices. We can either do it so that I can understand it, or explain it all the way through. So, again. at the start of my turn, <laughs> I can skip my turn, skip the rest of my turn to put the top card of the environment deck back on the countdown pile. So, add a card to the destruct sequence. If I play Ground Pound, at the start of your turn, destroy this card. That happens after the choice to skip my turn. Oh, I see. So, I skip my turn, and this doesn't check, so it stays in play. And I just do that every turn for Haka from now on. That's boring. Yeah, yeah, it's boring. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I understand now how it works. You can do that with takedown as well. Yeah, I may in fact set that up and try it at some point, but I think uh, that explains it well enough that we can try to do it correctly. Yeah. Uh, we can, anyone wants to choose to do this, we can. Um, sure. Yeah, am I going to take the damage? Probably not, because I don't have a lot going on in my hands at the time. Uh, I have more electrical storms, but I like to have it going, so I'm just going to skip because I have minus one anyway. And Ra can skip because he's immune. Yep. Sparky Wolf, it's so awesome and broken. That's boring. Move on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got Baron Blade at three. He's probably going to heal now. No, oh no, he's playing the redistributor again. Well, that's great. You can Sonic right. Vortex. I guess you can play your yeah, quick so... insight first. Yeah, don't skip. You might get a. Uh, if you play quick insight, you might get a way to destroy it, right? Like that. Like that. All right. So in that case, I'll get rid of probably supersonic response. And yeah, a nimble strike. Where's that my dragon? My dragon. All right. So. And I will blinding speed. The oxygen leak underneath the self-destruct <laughs> sequence. To make us lose immediately. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. Still can't use powers though, but take care of beacons right there.
Sorry, Tachyon, keep hitting you with that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I can't get rid of that now. Rock could hit it with Inferno, and then uh, Haka can finish it off with Rampage, so why don't we do that? Yeah, if you hit that redistributor with Inferno, then Haka can eat it up. Oh, poor Tachyon. Why are you hitting Tachyon for no reason? Oh yeah, I guess it's, I don't have to do those, those extra ones. Oh. I wasn't even thinking. There it goes. All right. Tachyon is a stand-in for setbacks, says Sparky Wolf. Right, and no powers. Let's rampage again. Eat it! Baron Blade in power armor. Beat up Tachyon. Beat up self. All right, we don't need to worry about the countdown anymore. We probably want to get rid of this at this point. Uh, Haka has a couple cards to discard unless Tachyon wants to. I think Tachyon uh, doesn't have burst cards, so. Yeah, I don't have, yeah. It's fine. <clears throat> Oxygen Lake, we definitely don't want to be out now. <laughs> Uh, Tempest can discard for this. Man, he is really all about distributing <laughs> those elements. He's about redistribution. Right. Yes. Okay, so I think... <laughs> Right, it doesn't matter. So I'll just do this. Because it's not going to get distributed because it's not one of the three. So I can at least hit the blade with that. And nobody has any redirection, I don't think. Nine, nine bursts in your trash. It's a pretty good hit to Baron Blade here. Or you could hit the redistributor if you want. Yeah, I was going to say, which one do you think is... Uh, I mean, are we going to do another 18 damage this turn? Probably this round? not. All right, I'll take out the distributor. Okay. Got to play it safe and we're not using powers a little bit. All right, uh, let's get... Yes, yes, no mint. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Vicious Cyclone, I think. That's gonna be very worthwhile. Imbued Fire for plus one damage tab for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, or Flame still... Spike for a little bit of damage. Yeah, I mean, I was... That's a one. So if we're boosted by two, so that would be up to four. Yeah, that's fine. So Living Confab. That one works. 
All right, I'm gonna play Grand Pound now. Try to prevent him from ruining everything if he plays a bad card. We'll see. Meteor Storm! Well, didn't need Grand Pound. Um, I mean, I'm assuming we want to whale on him, right? Yeah, we need to get rid of Meteor Storm. Yeah, I'll just skip here. And we don't have a... No one else can get rid of it, like, with a card right now, so... And it gave you an Elbow Smash. So elbow good. Smash, good. More card draw is more cards for... Vicious Cyclone. Oh, now Tempest has Environment Destruction in hand. Alright. Yeah, you have two damage with Confab. Yep. I keep wanting to think about that Solar Flare. You know what, I'll do it. I can use this Flame Spike, maybe. Oh, look at all those powers! I want to use them! <laughs> Ooh, Fire Blast. Yeah, I think this will point. be over on Tempest's turn. Unless something bad happens, like he heals. Villainous weaponry. Oh, bro. Grand Warlord Voss has entered the game. Devious. See, this is why I played Ground Pound. <laughs> uh, we can probably get rid of just about everything. Yeah, all these things are things that are going to kill Baron Blade, so I'm skipping. Okay. But Ra can probably get rid of everything. Yeah. Maybe except Imbued Fire. But you'd also destroy that if you want. I guess you could have kept um, Flame Barrier because you'd hit him back, but... Oh yeah, that's true. That's all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna we're up, we're gonna win either way, so. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm not super concerned about it. Oh, if you had had a synaptic interruption, we could have, like, destroyed nothing and then redirected back in his face. That would have been great. Great Ooh, way to finish. Weird is going on with my computer. Well, well we're a lot lower in HP than we were. That is true. Expatriate would be a bad choice for a no-powers game. That seems likely. All right, and here's Tempest, who has survived.
I think this will finish it off. Nice. <laughs> All right, All right. So that achievement unlocked. Indeed. Now want... we just have to do it with no cards. All right, no I cards. I think it's going to be Baron Blade again. But we can probably do like Insult for Malice, just mix that up a little bit. Sure. Hang on, I'm just refilling my beverage. I guess Omnitron could work. A little more dangerous, uh, though. With we could do like um, Electro Pulse. Uh, we could do like Variant Blade. Keep it in the Romanot clan. I'm open to whatever. Though. Yeah, I mean, we can try it. It might be harder, but we'll give it a try. So, okay, right. this is the no card play. No one. card plays. So you only want powers that do something. Right. Um, so, like, you don't want to bring Wraith again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, I mean, she just becomes a tank, basically, but that's about it. What uh, do the house rules say about unity in this case? So, like... Does this include, like, put into play, or it literally is only card play? Yeah, it includes put into play. Yeah, so, like, she couldn't... You can't use cards. Do anything. Just, like, don't... Ha you can't have cards, basically. Right. Baron Slip won't destroy anything, yeah. So, obviously, anything that does damage is going to be useful. Um, so, and Legacy can be useful, too, for the plus. Especially if Baron Blade brings out his minus... So I'll bring Legacy, who's just going to sure do plus galvanize every turn. <laughs> or we could bring Young Legacy, I guess. Three damage is pretty solid. Three damage will get through anything Baron Blade can put out. Um, which might be... I mean, Legacy, as long as we bring Haka or Ra, then uh, we can get through. Yeah, I was thinking about either doing Haka or um, Fnatic. I'm looking at her things to see. Yeah, yeah see, Fnatic like, is like, good. So, so, like, let me ask you this. So, like, her Prime Wardens. Fnatic deals herself three radiant damage, play the top card of your deck. So we would not be allowed to even use this power, right? Well, I mean, if you use the power, you play a card, and then you play the card, so you don't get the achievement. Right, Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Fnatic. I'm gonna bring this Tachyon. Yeah. I think I'm gonna bring Tempest. All right, and we'll try Insult Paralysis right, this time. Yeah, I'm still thinking. Just give me one second. Okay. So I feel like I wanna see we're only using powers. I'm just, I'm, we're, we're staying with the base game too, right? Sure. That was still a stipulation? Okay. Um, yeah, if Blade gets both. Oh, we could bring GI Bunker. Sprecher will suggest to make damage irreducible in case Baron yeah, Blade. Yeah, I was looking at that. That is another hero that doesn't really do anything except for <laughs> get buffs, get damage through, but. That might be all right. Basically, it's like Legacy and Bunker powering up Fnatic and Tachyon to hit Baron Blade <laughs> and trying to race him. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Okay. All right. The cards that we have do not matter, so I'm just going to start the game. <laughs> yep. Legacy taking Nemesis boost is not great, but... Oh, good. Oh, good. I, I, like MDP. Oh, but MDP doesn't do anything, so...
Look at my the hand that I started with. It's great. I know. <laughs> All right, we're galvanized. Oh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to discard cards to the environment um, to get my power going. We'll see if that works. Indeed. Yeah, this version of Tempest is not actually that great because this Baron Blade doesn't have other targets, but... Yeah. Slashing and burning. Yep. All right, someone's gonna need to skip their turn. I'm gonna volunteer Tempest or Tachyon for that. Yeah, I'd have to see what Tach I don't, yeah, it's probably gonna be Tachyon. I don't know, let's see. I don't know, I, you tell me, I don't know much about how this Tachyon works, so. It's not gonna matter. It's four damage to Baron Blade either way, so. Okay. Actually, it's a, yeah, it's better if we use Galvanize because we're going to get five damage or six damage instead. So, not Fanatic because she's doing the most damage. But basically, like, either Tempest or Tekken are going to be doing one damage, right? And it doesn't matter what cards we draw, so... This game is dedicated to the haters that say play your best card. Exactly. There you go. All right, he's down to 16. He's got to keep rolling and have him be lucky and have him not play horrible cards. Hey, that's going to help us and hurt yep. us. It's a race. A race to the zero HP. Oof. Oh boy. Yikes. I don't like haste and dooms. Well, you know we're going to get the trifecta now that two came out in a row, right? Yeah. Oh, one second. Oh, there we go. Whew. All right. So tell me again about that. Okay, so damage. Then they do that target there. So, how's everybody out there in chat land? Does everybody have interesting Valentine's? Ooh, I hear him welcoming people in his home. Not too bad. Went out for sushi with the wife tonight. That was a good time. Uh, what else I've been doing? As mentioned, I've been reading Snow Crash. So that's interesting. What about you, Brian? Read anything interesting? Played anything good? I've been rewatching The Lord of the Rings this week. so interested to know what's happening on the other end of this thing since I can still hear what's happening from his mic.
Yeah, my wife and I are actually going out on Thursday, the day before Valentine's Day, because uh, all of our kids' schools made this winter weekend, so they're off on Friday and Monday. And so, oh, John is offline. You can take his turn. That's true. I could do that. Yeah, let me see. What was he thinking about? Oh, right. We can't. He's not going to play, so we'll skip. And he's going to, yeah. Uh, no. All right, and so she has to skip. All right, so the backlash field is going to hit Fnatic first hit, but not on the second hit, right? Right. All right, I'm going to hold at this moment and wait for John to come back on um, to see if what his thoughts are about the subsidian field. Because I don't know. What is my favorite sushi? Um, so the place that we went is a sushi restaurant, but I actually don't get sushi at the sushi restaurant. I get something called The Rock, which is basically like they bring you, it, it's kind of like the sort of Japanese barbecue, Korean barbecue thing where they, you cook your own meat right at the table, but I do it on, like they bring it on like a hot stone. And it's like a four different kinds of sauces and other kinds of things. So that's the, my favorite thing to do. It's at this restaurant that's right around the corner from us called Sasamatsu. Sorry, there's a, the hot water is not working here, so they're coming to look at it, but I think. Understood. All right. Oh, he's got to go again and <laughs> have a conversation with the hot water people. Ooh, there's a new Dresden book coming out. That's interesting. I have not read Codex Alera, nor have I played Hand of Fate 2. All right. All working again. So, All right. what's up? So, I went ahead and took your legacy turn. Sure. Um, and then I did not discard for Obsidian Field, but I wanted to hold here and see if you thought, given the current state of HP amongst the team, if we thought getting rid of that obsidian field might be a way to go here with the backlash field and those things going oh on. gross backlash field yeah uh, yeah I guess Tachyon could discard and then she'd be able to use her power a couple times mm, okay uh, so then I will not discard for this why didn't you what you said Tachyon could discard for it yeah at the end of their the turn. End of turn. Oh, I. Yeah, I guess if that player has to discard the cards, field. right? Okay. Yeah. Right. What did you do? Well, I don't. <laughs> the card is not very clear. But. It does say that that player has to do it. Okay, so. Um, when he flips, is he going to kill Tachyon? Is the question. No. So. I guess Tachyon could. Do I want to take the damage for Backlash Field here? It's going to be, probably be okay. Night, Kuznoki. Oh, except we're not going to be able to... Uh, yeah, Tachyon's dead then. So maybe I need to not use my power. <laughs> Well, I mean, we can still we can go back to Fnatic, and I can discard for it if you think that's the better choice. Well, no, the thing is, he's going to do four damage to everything, right, on his turn, or five. I'm still going to discard for Tachyon. I just need her to survive next round. Okay. Yeah, Lou Dolphin base game wordings. Play the next environment card is something that it says too. <laughs> All right, Tachyon will discard for this. We'll discard a couple burst cards. All right. 
right. So I, yeah, so I just got the highest HP of everybody, so that's fine. I guess uh, Freedom Six Bunker might not be a bad choice to bring to this setup too, because he can destroy ongoing cards with his power. Raptor Bot almost kills Tachyon. Or not Raptor Bot, the last actual Raptor. <laughs> yeah, actual Raptor. Gross. Well, this is going to kill Tachyon now. So that was not productive. We're going to lose. Do you want to try to win? Or do you want to just lose? Like, we can start playing cards <laughs> and maybe win. <laughs> um... Damage and lost Tachyon. Yeah, let's just try to win. Win now. <laughs> okay, so Pulls to win, <clears throat> we need not to get killed by the backlash field. That's a thing. Um, what's her in caps? Extra card. Okay, or get the top card into your hand. Um, Tempest. Trying to think of Tempest will be able to use into the stratosphere and chain lightning in order to flip him. I think we can do that. So yeah, uh, we just need to not die first. I think I need the boosts from Legacy in order to do that, though. So let's do Inspiring Presence. I was gonna say either of your things that'll let some healing happen would be yeah super great. <clears throat> no achievement, but we're going to try to win from this stage. Um, this state, which is a state, to be sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, basically, we want Fnatic to survive and use Wrathful Retribution to win the game next turn. So, you could play Absolution to get a hit point <laughs> and hit yeah. the Velociraptor pack. Because Tempest is going to get rid of the Backlash field for us. Okay, yep, that's fine. And yeah, I guess it doesn't matter which one of these I use when I'm going after the raptor. All right, Tempest can play an extra card. Hey. So yeah, you can into the stratosphere. And then whatever. Right, uh, I guess right. whatever being chain lightning. <laughs> yeah. I could play the other chain lightning. You don't yeah. know. Well, he's destroying the two cards that we have. So it's almost like we never actually played those cards. Yeah. Almost. We still might lose, but we've given ourselves a chance. Yeah. Blade's mind control has wore off. <laughs> yeah. We might lose legacy to a raptor here. Let's see. A pterodactyl thief. That's fine. Blade battalion. Also fine. Okay, so F Fnatic will have 25 damage. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just have Legacy. I was going to say, you could punch. flying stash. Yeah. And hit me for another three. Oh, that's true. Or. or <laughs> It's not gonna. It's not gonna take me all the way out, right? Three plus one. Oh, it was just three. Okay, good. Oh yeah, because it's plus one against Baron Blake, so the nemesis. All right. 
And discard three, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I'm not going to use that. Don't see myself using that. Legacy punches Fnatic into Baron Blade. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Yikes! And then your base power, and he has one HP left. With my last HP, I <laughs> spit it to. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I mentioned that I did subscribe to CBS All Access, and I've been watching Picard, and I've actually gone back and started watching uh, Star Trek Discovery finally. Which is exciting. I think I'm like about maybe four or five episodes in. Cool. Been enjoying it so far. All right. And Picard is great. Can you There's deal one damage to Baron Blade? Oh, do I have to? All right. All right. So we failed in our achievement hunt for the second one. The but second one, I think. Well, I don't know which one's harder or not. Uh, I think the second that using no cards is a lot harder than using no powers. Uh, we did win. We want to try again or do something else? Let's try again and, and we can go something other than Baron Blade. All right. Uh, Ambuscade. Sure. And then... All right, so yeah, put it up to everything. Let's see. Any heroes. Only powers. So I actually think I am going to, if we're going up against Ambuscade, I feel like having the Panzer Buster around could be pretty helpful. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't used this with a lot of uh, these guys. Oh, interesting. Luminary is interesting because Ambuscade plays devices, right? So this could be a lot of damage with him having devices, it's kind of a weird potential Oh, the life hack. one, okay. Yeah, interesting. Um, and who else? The Sentinels? Nah. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if, like, bringing, like, Dark Watch, Mr. Fixer, like, if there's a, there's no real way to power it, but if we're not playing cards, oh, yeah. it shouldn't matter, That's right? free three damage, that's great. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. I, I, I thought that I was thinking it through correctly, so yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring that. And then I'll bring uh, Young Legacy, who's also three damage, so. I think that's pretty solid. And Random Environment? Fort Adamant. Sure. Interesting. Oh, that actually gives us another power to use <laughs> with the EMP cannon. I have found you, Bray. That's not the right accent at all. I found you, my Bray. Your time runs short. <laughs> That's not it either. Yeah, Ambuscade actually starts with devices in play, so this is like. Luminary just gets damage right away, right? Terrific. And he's playing more device. More device. Wow. All right, well. Having Bunker in the Panzer spot up front is good. Yep. Already. Yeah, I think let's just wail on Ambuscade. We don't have to worry if he cloaks, right? So, like, having him take as much damage as possible is good. We're going to get hit by the plating, but that's fine. Yeah, how about five damage? Oh, 
Oh man. Look at those overdrives that you can't. Those overdrives <laughs> that you can't use. How are you going to draw three overdrives on turn one <laughs> in a game where you can't use any of them? <laughs> and a jack handle with all these targets to play? <laughs> You're testing me, game. You're testing me. Atomic Glaze. Yeah, 11 damage around. We can, he doesn't cloak. All right, we get Dr. Demikov and a Bionic Patroller. Yeah, the environment's probably gonna get out of hand as well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, more devices. Trap goes in. Yeah, I so saw we just had an unavoidable explosive get shuffled in there, so. I'd say Luminary is probably the target to protect the most if we can choose because she's doing the most damage. Right. Oh, pretty much it mostly goes to the highest, so he doesn't like gang up on the lowest target, I think, in this. Except on his flip side, I think. We just need to be lucky and have him not flip. Lou Dolphin said you sounded like Baron Blade cosplaying as Ambuscade. <laughs> <laughs> Aim to please. Six damage. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if he keeps playing devices. He'll be the architect of his own demise. So what would be really difficult is doing one of these challenges in team mode. I think, or obviously Ooh, oblivion. Yeah. Oblivion mode would be. I don't even know if that's possible to do. Yeah, it. that's one of those like P versus NP problems that no one actually needs to know the answer to. I think you could do the no powers <laughs> probably because like card plays are so strong. Yeah. But um, no cards would be, I don't know. I don't think that would be feasible. Also, you'd like, I don't know if it counts reward cards. I'm not even sure what if the logic cares like checks for that. Yeah, interesting. Maybe we'll see someone try it. Lou Dolphin. <laughs> no <laughs> joke about that, says Sparky Wolf. All right, so both of these Sonic Mines are going to go off, but they end the, as immediately, right? Like they're yeah. at the beginning of his turn. I don't think the order is going to so matter here. Order doesn't matter. We're just going to take the hits. Oh wait, does that, does the order matter? Maybe the order matters, maybe it doesn't. Does she, what does the highbrow, oh she heals, right, okay. She doesn't like increase her damage or something, so yeah, it really doesn't matter. Find out if we can do no rewards versus Oblivion. You definitely can do no rewards versus Oblivion. That's known. It is known. You just need the visionary and absolute zero. Alright, no really fair lucky. healing up in speed. I'm gonna be ahead of you. Hey, healing bad. Healing. Yeah. Double healing <laughs> worse. <laughs> Double healing, not okay. Also, his device is hey, getting blown up. not okay. Yeah, we're streaming a little later than usual. It's after dark, after hours again this week. Next week will be at the usual time, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the listening party. Shh, pass it on. <laughs> a quiet listening party. <laughs> 
All right, we have we do have access to the EMP cannon now. Um, but I think having the irreducible is still good. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever utilized this. One target, five energy damage. Yeah, that's pretty great in a thing where we're all stockpiling cards because we can't play them. Yep. All right, so we'll get Ambuscade ready to go, and then everybody can just wail on him, and then we can go home. Well, I think the uh, Luminary... There's only... Yeah, there's four devices, so it makes sense, I think, for, for Luminary to hit Ambuscade. Oh, yeah, but... Mr. Fixer and uh, Legacy can use the EMP cannon instead. And the reactor plating will hit the EMP cannon instead of them too, so. Hmm. All right, so discard a card if you do. Buy overdrive, no chance. All right, so then use this to hit Ambuscade? Yep. Yeah. Okay. My God, our votes clicked in the exact time with the music on my end. I don't know if anybody out in Chatland heard that, but mm -hmm. it was like, votes were like, click, click. Well, it's not going to be on time on my end, probably. Probably not, but <laughs> it was very cool. All right, and yeah, let's do... This saves us from that reaction damage, too, which is nice. Because it is the EMP cannon that's getting hit by the reactive plating and not our heroes. Hey, Lou Dolphin, just going out and saying there's a listening party next week. I whispered it for a reason. Jean-Marc after dark. You were supposed to whisper it too. All right, Highbrow is going after devices, which is okay, because she's not actually destroying them this time. Oh, she's killing Demikov. <laughs> so actually, let's kill Demikov first so she doesn't damage the devices too much. Oh, except she's indestructible, so yeah, doesn't matter. And everything is taking one damage. I love the name of this card. Aggressive, Aggressive. Yeah, voluntarily. <laughs> Guess maybe we should have killed the reactive plating. It's been hurting us a lot. Yeah, legacy. We're so close, though. If we, if he hadn't healed, we would win this round. I think we need to go for it. He'll be at nine. <laughs> Thank you, Lou Dolphin. All right. All right. There we go. All right. I assume I'm just wailing on him. Yep. And hopefully the environment will help us out some more too. Yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't heal up or cloak, we'll win next round, I think. Or kill us, I guess. He could kill us. Always an option. But 
But the environment, I believe, is going to attack him. So, because he's going to have the second highest HP. Yeah. Oh, great, we get hit by the Sonic Mine again. All right, I don't think the order matters. It's Ambuscade. All right, we can definitely find four HP. Oof. Oh no, we get blown up. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fixer, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I we don't, really don't super lose. need the irreducible, but if, if reactive plating, if another reactive plating gets played, we do, so. Sorry, Mr. Yeah. Fixer. Oh, oh, there he goes. No. Oh, no. And there goes Legacy. Ah. Uh, yeah, we are screwed. It's all falling apart. <laughs> it's all falling apart. If he had the, had the trap go up, I mean, yeah. Oh, we were close, four HP. What did you do? That was close. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Would Skyscraper help with this one? Maybe. Well, let's play. Let's just play a random game with no restrictions. Sure. Akash Buddha at the MDP. I got the harpy, and let's bring. Killer Lifeline. Lifeline Blood Mage. Akash Buddha has climbed onto the MDP somehow. Or maybe the MDP is like inside Akash Buddha. I don't know. Something wacky is happening. So I'm going to ready up. Are you hearing my, my chair make noises? Maybe. Um, and then I have to run to the bathroom real quick. So. All right. I will do the same. I'm back. I think John's got us sitting on the, on the screen there, right?
I have returned. He has returned! All right. Harpy has Conjured Aura, Harpy Hex, Lash of the Elements, and Tenuous Focus. Uh, Night Mist has Astral Projection, Astral Premonition. You're actually playing Night Mist again? Nice. I am playing Night Mist. Heal Slash and Dublivion. Lifeline Blood Mage has Cosmic Immolation, Discharge Life Force, Infernal Detonator, and Orphic Repository. Unity uh, Termination has Bebot, Hasty Augmentation, Robot Reclamation, and Scrap Metal. Ooh, Hasty Augmentation on Lifeline is delicious. <laughs> Nice. Destroy equipment cards. That's a great first play for Akash Buddha. She does nothing. All right. So I still probably need more experience with Harpy. So this will be part of that. <coughs> uh, I don't play her a ton. Harpy Hex is always nice, so that's a good start. You want to have that in play. I get my chat visible here. Uh, and I'll do two damage. Chipping away. We draw another chip, Lash chip, of the chip, Elements. Chip. All right, what have I got here? Hmm. Oh yeah, Brian the Wolfman points out Skyscraper would just end up with a lot of cards because she would just be drawing two cards. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, so I feel like we definitely want to hold those Oblivions. Like, I think I'm just going to skip, skip here. I mean, the Astral Premonition isn't terrible, but I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to hold on to all of these things for later in the game. Yeah, I mean, you could heal the slash and have a chance of something happening, but skip, skip's fine too. Or skip, use yeah. power. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I guess this early skip, use power is probably a better choice. Well, wait. Or you could play... Oh, skip, skip. Right, yeah, if I play something, skip, use power is better. Or if I play something, then yeah. use power. If I skip, skip, it's just two cards for no damage. I mean, you could play Astral Premonition, and then you have it. Oh, yeah. We're not doing, like, a thing where we can't do a thing. That's right. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Enlightenment. Yeah, you definitely want wow, those Oblivions. I'm for... so enlightened. Yeah. Those Oblivions will be great when there's tons of limbs. Enlightened. Of all the enlightenments. All right. I feel like this seems just as good as my base power at the moment. Um, you had said something about hasty augmentation, or do you need to get set up for that? Uh, when there's more targets. Okay. Because I do two damage to all villain targets, so when there's more things to hit, that will be good. All right. So yeah, I think I you may... might want to skip skip. <laughs> yeah, that. this one's gonna skip skip as well. Flash Forge will be good. Yeah. Flash Forge is especially good with this version because you can get bots. From, you can like discard a bunch of bots and then get them back with your power. We got Brambles. Entomb. So that's Night Mist. Hey, you can't hit yourself. Three cards. Yep. Do we have Ongoing Destruction? 
I don't think so. Not in hand. Destroy an environment card. You have Bebot. So Bebot will be important to get out for Entomb. Yeah. Um, I think. Unless we want it to happen, but probably don't. Uh, tenuous Focus seems fine. Conjured Aura might be good. Yeah, actually, Conjured Aura is nice to keep getting set up. I just need to avoid having three or more birds at the start of my turn. And we'll start working on those brambles. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you could do like a free enlightenment yeah. or... Yeah. Hmm. So many choices, but not really. Yeah, why not? There you go. Four card draws for someone. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Unity wouldn't mind it, but I feel like if either of yours have a better chance of getting something interesting, she's I mean, got other ways to... With Unity, then you can Flash Forge, like, everything <laughs> to get everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm already in a place to do a decent amount of that, so I can I can certainly boost that, but if somebody else needs it more, I mean, no, I, I, I can think... discard at least four, so... I don't think anyone okay. else needs it more, so... Or I could just draw all the bots and not have to worry about it. Um, yeah, do I want to ask for permission? I would just, while well, you can't deal damage, I would draw free cards. But yeah, well, me. yeah, I guess that's fair. Especially since I don't have a lot of diversity happening in my deck. Or my hand, I should say. Gotta have doubles of as many cards as possible. Yeah, I can take out that brute and deal damage. So at I finally the same time. tried. Uh, I finally tried out Dicey Dungeons uh, this weekend. Have you played that? Uh, nope. Yeah, it's interesting. It's it's a similar. It's you know it's got a very similar sort of overall gestalt to One Deck Dungeon because it's like you're rolling dice to do certain things. The mechanic is very different than One Deck Dungeon in some ways and very similar in other ways. Um, thematically, it's kind of all over the map. Like, th like you fight like a ninja versus a robot versus like, but you're an actual die. Okay. Or, and as they say in the game, you're a dice. <laughs> you're like a character that's become embodied in the die and you get rolled. To fill up the things. It's I don't know. It's it's interesting. I'm I'm gonna give it some more some more tries. I wonder um, if they I know like that the word is die, or they get too many people saying you saying the wrong word. It should be dice. Yeah, it could which be we either way. We get that. We get bug reports which are like the help says die, but it should be dice. It's like nope. <laughs> All right, whatever you do, just make sure to get a bot in play this turn. Okay. I remember, any bots in your trash, your base power can get out. Oh, yeah. So hang on, let me see. If I'm going to... Alright, so in that case, I will discard one of these B-bots, and then I'll just know that that'll be the thing that's going to come out. One more. I'll keep the hasty augmentation. Right, these are coming from my deck. All right, I already have Swift Bot in hand. I am not spell bot. so that I can start doing some of this stuff. 
Nah, we can think about a stealth bot. Maybe even a raptor bot. Very cool. Says Night Mist is the only one in this game that doesn't have glowy hands. She is, does have glowy things around her hands, though, right? So. Yeah. Lifeline glowing. They, they all have, like, effects around their hands, though, right? So, I think that counts. Mm hmm So you didn't want to do a construction pylon? Sure. I did. You did? You won't... I didn't watch what power you used, but you only have one bot instead of two, which you would have used a construction pylon. Oh, I drew a construction pylon. But you didn't use it. Yeah. I did not, yes, I did not use it, I guess. What, what did I do? Your choice. <laughs> I mean, how was I going to use it? Play it. Oh, oh. right. Oh, because you didn't have it. I was thinking you had an extra card play, but I guess, yeah. You just hit your base power. Right. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not going crazier than I usually am. Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's hit. We can take out the mechanic, I guess. May as well. And then the B-Bot. Unless we have a reason to hit us, I don't think so. And get rid of Entomb. Yeah, here come the limbs. All right, sorry, I missed it. Who did, what did Ensnaring Brambles get? Uh, again? Check the lightning bolt. Night Mist. Yeah, Night Mist again, okay. All right, Conjured Aura can do up to three targets, one damage each. Hit the limbs, because that's what I can hit. Can just keep getting her set up. That seems okay. Uh, I think we'll probably do some area damage with, <clears throat> excuse me, lifeline this turn. So uh, anything at four or less is going to go away. you can keep enlightening. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Alright, who, who would like two cards? I suppose... He's pretty solid, so... Lifeline could, if Night Mist okay. doesn't want him. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep drawing. Yep. So... That makes sense. Spreading the wealth around is perfectly fine. Yeah, you're you're getting three cards yourself each turn, so... Yeah, exactly. You only have ten in hand. I don't know if that's enough. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go, I think, start going on Cosmic Immolation here. Now you may pile on. Yes. Now I do plan to pile on. But the only question is, what am I going to pile on with? Because I think I definitely want to get Swiftbot out. Right. Additional card. I draw an additional card. Yeah. So we'll get definitely get that out. Uh, 
Yeah, we probably don't need a B-Bot immediately, but who knows based on what she might play. Yeah, she could Entomb on the environment turn, so. Yeah, I'm just going to get some damage out. All right, take Mountainous Carapace down to one or get a Boreal Phalanges down to four? Uh, I guess Phalanges down to four and then, yeah, anything down to four is going to get wiped out next round, so. And if they heal all the way, it doesn't matter which one you hit. <laughs> so. I don't think this environment ever, like, attacks um, villain cards, right? So it only attacks heroes. And just another carapace. That's easy. Yeah, so... Um, Lifeline is going to kill everything. Uh, but can't hurt to hit this, I guess. Could damage myself. Actually, I can't damage myself because I have minus one from Flux Care. Oh no, I could, I could hit myself because it's only by non-hero targets. So I could like flip a token by hitting myself with Conjured Aura. Um, yeah, if you think you need to learn more about Harpy, you're talking <laughs> to somebody who's like, I've played her twice, and I think both times we're on the stream, so. Yeah, I just need to make sure I have... Yeah, I could do this Tenuous Focus to draw some more cards, and potentially, yeah, let's do Tenuous Focus here. Call the flock next turn. Yeah. You can deal damage right. now. Yeah, I guess the question is, what do I want to do with it? Two, three, and six on the HP. Yeah, all those cards are basically lifeline can kill them. So. <laughs> okay. If you have other stuff you want to do, but if you want to do your damage, that's fine too. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Draw one card. One card. Yeah, which one of yours wants it? Because Unity's fi fine and Nightmiss is gonna draw a bunch. So uh, Lifeline, sure. Huh. I've got like the card that lets me like put as many cards in under it from my hand, so the more cards I can grab are good for that. You know what? Um, my uh, blackjack table premonition is happening, which tells me that this is a good time to, to look for this and see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what do you choose? <laughs> But at least we don't get two. It's true. And we know what it is, which is also important. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to destroy this. Uh, I could actually discard it because I have Leyline Shift. Discard the top card of each deck. Um, I have Unleash Energy. Draw a card to play a card. That's nice too. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. And hit these. Sky deck is like burying her. She's not she's not gonna flip very fast because actually no, she flips on the environment shovels, not herself, so that's not accurate, but her limbs are going back into her deck instead of the trash. 
Uh, I'm going to play a card. I'm going to discard that uh, limb that's on top, I think. Uh, oh, we could put a raptor bot into play. Mm. That's fun. Definitely yeah. don't want birth. I'm glad we discarded that. That is terrifying with Akash Buddha. The first time a target enters play each turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Oof. That just starts cycling with her rule about playing cards. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's bad. But yeah, free Raptor Bot, I think. Makes sense. And. That. That carapace is, like, I can just kill it with this, so I think I'll do that instead of using my base power. And then Unity can wail on a Kosh Buddha. All right. So... We'll do one of these. You could play two of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm looking at. Like, there really isn't another better option. There's no reason not to have two of them. So we'll do that. And hmm. Yeah, the only one I have in my trash is the B bot. I, think I'm gonna I mean, it's going to be worth doing because of all the parts are going to go off, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. So I think in that case we'll do probably the Raptor Bot. Unfortunately. But thank you, free Raptor Bot. Your contribution will not go unnoticed. Got all the cards. So there is a cards. construction pylon. None of them are mine, so <laughs> you decide. Uh, well, one of them is Astral Premonition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine to destroy that one. Okay. Uh, what do I have in hand for people? Yeah, Lifeline's hurting himself too much. Let's get rid of that. For now, two more cards. Yeah, I want to keep Harpy set up, so let's get rid of these life, this lifeline card. And I think I have another, a copy of one of these in my hand. No, I don't. So which one don't I want? Ah, she has lots of health. Get rid of the damage reduction one. No. B bot can't deal damage. Oh no. <laughs> Bots can still destroy. All right, calling the flock. Hugging and mugging. We hugging, we munning, we mugging. There's Flux Care again. Do I want to flip a control token? Let's just deal the damage. 
Oh, I guess I should hit the brambles, but the brambles are probably going to get taken out anyways. Mm. And you get to call forth. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Could find an amulet or something. Not gonna use this. I mean, I'm sure there are scenarios wherein I would use it, but I'm not probably need to here. All right, so we get a Tome of Elder Magic, a Star Shield Necklace, an Elder Ring, <clears throat> and an amulet. We got all the things. Yeah. And you have lots of cards. Ooh, missed bound. That's good. All right. What's Lifeline gonna do? I go for Alien Arcana. this instead of my base power. It does about the same thing. I haven't come across any equipment yet for Lifeline. You're probably going to kill that um, with like platform bot, yeah, so I'll just hit the Kash Buddha. Sure. Let the bots fly. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Gotta love Raptor Bot. Crushing it. Nice. Raptor bot living their best life. Propulsion systems. Oh no. Oh no, limb time. <laughs> oh, but there weren't many lim there were no limbs in the top four cards. We did get an entomb, but we have B bot to deal with that. Uh, Harpy can take this because she gets to flip a token and deal damage. So if we take out the propulsion system, technically that would kill a cash boot too. Just saying. What? <laughs> I can't hear you. Nothing. Uh, well, we can kill the Battalion Brute. And then maybe we'll hit the... Unless anyone else wants to get hit for some reason. Be bot. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, that is happening. But you'll be able to destroy it with B bot. <laughs> so, well, no, we can destroy Entomb and. Yeah, I was gonna say I can do either one. Um, does someone else have a direct? Yeah, you have Planar Banishment, right? So you can just destroy the environment card. So. Okay. Oh come on. <laughs> well, your banishment will probably clear that. I'm gonna say don't hit the propulsion system. You don't wanna live dangerously? <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. Hmm? I'm trying to tell you how to make your best decision. I'm just saying for the good of the group. I think we should all consider how your actions affect 
Fair. the rest of the team and their birds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think uh, no one else has ongoing... Well, I do have ongoing destruction for Lifeline, but we don't have environment destruction, so I think probably best to use banishment. Hey, you got the number you wanted. I got the number that I wanted. things. Okay, how about Matter Manipulator? Do I want to use a power now? Mm. No, I want to draw cards. Actually, because I don't have that many other powers. Anyone want to take a hit? Oh, I do have to deal damage to someone else. Well, that's okay. I can hit Hugin and Munin. They have lots of health. Great. <laughs> um. Yes, I Man, do. Yeah, I know what. You don't have your. Base, base variant power to destroy that with, so. Alright, so I definitely think I'm going to get this modular workbench out so I can just have the bots flow like wine. Hmm. And then... Do you, uh, how are you... How would you do with the hasty augmentation now, or are we still waiting? It's not really that. You said like, we could get plus two damage on, like, Akash Buddha, but it doesn't, like, it okay. pays off more when there's lots of targets to hit. Got it. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I mean, then. you could use it on yourself and get more bots out, but. All right. Good, good. And. Which of these do I want to get into play? Yeah, After I think we're time. gonna get. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely time to stack those bots. I'm actually, gonna. Uh, what do I want to get rid of here? Um, I guess one of the B bots, because if worst comes to worst, I can always pull it back. Yep. From. Another raptor bot in the play. And that's four damage. And that's eleven damage. It's just Unity casually doing and that's twenty damage on her turn. Eighteen turns. damage. <laughs> Halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, Lou Dolphin's got a prayer. <laughs> All right, so I still have my volatile parts, right? Uh, yep. And she flips. Yeah, so your raptor bots are going down. Uh, all the parts are going to go after the battalion brute, so we should have her hit the battalion brute first, so it does. Ah, okay. Uses up fewer of your Valdo parts attacks, I think. I don't think we have uh, the harpy. Yeah, we can hit the harpy first because she gets to react. We can try to kill the rock slide. I don't think we will get to actually kill the rock slide, though. 
Yeah, we may as well hit the raptor bots. Yeah. Oh, right, and she plays cards. <laughs> so, thing, more things happen. Good, the first time a target enters play each turn, play the top card of the environment deck. I don't, yeah, whenever she destroys a target, right? Mmm. Oh no, it's whenever a villain, whenever our environment target is destroyed. So that's not going to happen anymore. I think we're okay now. Oops. Oh, we did destroy the the thing. So that's yeah. Good. That's why I that's why I said oops when I went to choose for me. There was I meant yeah, to hit that. Yeah, that's why first I didn't want to choose for me, but you took, you went to it and I was like, all right, if that's what you want. <laughs> I know it's fine. We're not going back. Mint or nothing this time around. We just took some damage for no reason, that's all. We did. Okay. Flash of the elements here. started. Oops. I switched to another game somehow. What? Sentinels, oh. come back. Oh, it crashed. It's all right. Like, my on. game switched to, my iPad did the gesture that switches apps. Awkward. Awkward. Let's see if I can get back in. Yeah. Pop. All right. Blame John. Yeah. It's lunchtime. 12 o'clock. much oblivion play a card I do love calculated action let's do that play two cards I still don't have any like of my equipments that I want like the axe and all that stuff Let's play Alien Arcana. Do I want to use a power or actually draw a card? Yeah, I can use a power now. Let's use this.
12 o'clock, time to bust out the hard liquor. Wait, Spongy, well, where are you? Are you in Atlantic time? I think well, it's only 11. I was talking about 12 o'clock. It's oh, was 12 o'clock noon for me. That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, it's noon for you. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess I can play the Infernal Detonator. And then I will use this power. There's Unquiz Tech. Give me more tech. Uh, and we can take out the failing bees. Unity got this. Um, let's see. Six two, huh? Alright, what do I have? I have one Raptor Bot still in play. Champion bot Here's the game. Can Unity do this? I don't know. Maybe. I have two card plays. So I could conceive of... Well, let's see. If I play that and I draw... Yeah, like if I supply crate into uh, like a pylon. You do have Flash Forge, so you can get exactly what you want. Right. Oh, I'm I'm scrolling. Game. I'm not away from keyboard. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, I think getting more Raptor Bots in play. I don't know if you can get to 52, though. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a, that's a big ask. Okay, well, let's do that. And that's, that's two. I don't think there's... That's, like, all you need, right? For... Yeah. You only have one pylon and one platform bot in there. <laughs> 52 is a big ask. <laughs> yeah, the, Big ask. the ask. Twitch points are now pointalabras. Krista chose a name for those. We haven't added any new rewards or anything, but uh, we're thinking about it. What? No. Oh. Uh oh. Um, uh oh. No. Oh, there we go. Whew. Like the scroll, it wasn't letting me scroll to the card that it couldn't uh. see. All right, but it, it worked itself out. All right, so we're definitely gonna get another Raptor bot. And then, is there anything else that's gonna boost and go off at the end of turn? Platform bot. No, turn. Yeah, that's, that's basically the best choice. All right, that's fine. I have no problem with that. God, such brainstorm. Oof. It's good. That's like four, eight, four. More than half of what she had, so it's pretty good. <laughs> or maybe exactly half. Yeah, she's at 52 and now she's at 26. Are you there? Yes. You can Choose a target. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the harpy is picking a token to flip. I'm looking at Unity selecting a target to be dealt damage. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, okay. Well, something got <laughs> disconnected there. Should we did maybe rewind and see? Yeah, if that rewind to Unity control. end of turn. So hit Akash Buta for four. Hit Akash Buta for eight. Okay, 
right? Oh, see, that's interesting. All right, so what I saw was I saw Platform Bot, Raptor Bot, Platform Bot, Akash Buddha with 36 HP, entire environment turn, and, and then got to the Conjured Aura, Harvey's picking a token to flip. Yeah, just mind game didn't get your your decision. But it also skipped a decision. What? There two Raptor Bots. I did not see a second Raptor Bot deal damage on my end. Oh. And Akash Buta had 36 HP on this turn. Oh, weird. Yeah, very weird. <laughs> Is that all you got, Akash Buddha? She so really just played that and did nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, I this feel is, like you probably got this. This is where we win. Arcane explosion. Yeah. Let's explode. Your head explode. Blowing up Raptor bots, Definitely. sorry. They're gonna do damage yeah, doing that, so. Oh, maybe I won't because I hit myself, so I'm doing less damage just now. I guess I shouldn't have done choose for me. We're still gonna win. Yeah. He's at 19. And Unity's probably doing like 50 or 40 or 50 damage on her turn. We're not even gonna get to Unity's turn, I don't think. Yeah. Um... Oblivion, it's time. No? Well, you get it anyway. <laughs> the luck of the draw. I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah? I did. Three and three. Three is all the way down. Uh... The end. Hoisted by her own ensnaring brambles. <laughs> All right, victory. <laughs> have you learned nothing since the last game? We have learned nothing. We have learned very little. All right, well, we accomplished the can't use powers challenge, but not quite the can't play cards challenge, right? Uh, that is correct. So, so we'll have to try that again another time. Another but time. But not next week, because next week... We're going to be listening to a party. No, that's not right. <laughs> we're going to be partying while we listen. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We are going to have a listening party. Oh, so come by. The music is coming up. There we go. Uh, yeah, listening party. I think that's going to be at the regular time, 7 Eastern, next week. That um, is the plan. Come and listen to some new hero theme songs. And I probably won't be there. I might be able to join in on the chat. We'll see. We'll see what my schedule is like because I will be super jet like probably. But that's going to be it. So good night all. The life of the world traveler. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.